Hello friends, welcome back to channel. So in a new video, we are taking about config if config command where we have seen the MTU. So what is MTU? This is maximum transfer unit means how much you can transmit without fragmentation. Fragmentation means cutting a big frame in a small small chunk and then transferring. Okay, so that's the fragmentation. So MTU value is maximum transmit unit how much transfer without Fragmentation. So by default is yes, fifteen hundred. So that's the standard which coming with the red hat. You can change this to nine thousand to your network device. But what's the correct value? Correct value is how much your network can handle that size of the MTU you have to say. So that means that much large package of network can transfer over a network to your system. So that will be a capping. If it's not said and someone is sending jumbo frame jumbo frame is larger package which they are sending but your server is not able to accept it like you are getting a data one sec in one second you are getting 10 gb data so your internet and your ethernet will not able to grab all the things and that time you will see packet drop where you will get increase in rx and tx so overcome that situation we are setting the mtu so if you look at config pipe grab mtu you, you will get enp0 s3 is having 1500 enp0 s8 is also having 1500 mtu when you have to increase the mtu value so if you run if config you will be able to see packet drop here okay if you are able to see packet drop of any of the ethernet that means you need to increase the mtu another thing is dmes message okay these are the hardware message in this you have to search for window or shrink so we'll search for window okay there's no shrink window these are the window only but correct word has shrink window so why we are getting shrink window in the message system is try to shrink the jumbo frame it is not getting frame okay it's not getting shrink in that window so it is get giving error shrink window error so you will come to know okay my mtu is less i have to increase the mtu size of the ethernet if i increase the mtu size fragmentation will not happen and it can accept the larger frame of a network and now question arise if fragmentation is helping you to get the larger frame why we are increasing mtu fragmentation needs some time to cut down the data in a chunks and then accept it then assemble the data into same larger frame so that's why we have to increase the mtu because fragmentation will take time and in that duration you will lose the data so whatever mtu is set it, that will be in a some file like if config is showing the config enp 0 s3 showing mtu here but it must be in some file get says class net in p0 s3 and then mtu this is the mtu size defined here or if r uh, look like the link show in p0 s3 okay you also we are getting an mtu value so how to set the mtu value on a higher side or ip link set mtu IP link set dev device np0 say empty value current is 1500 I will put 2000 okay now we'll see it got change correct and if you hit this file it got change so now I can accept a size larger size of network packages because I have increased the empty value of my ethernet but it's not for all the ethernet it's just you have increased for this ENP0 asset is still same so this how you can change the M2 value of your network devices but what the changes we have done to ENP0 S3 is not permanent it's temporary so if I do system CTL network system CTL restart at work and I will run IPR after that or if config by G and ENP0 S3. So 
first it will execute its system network restart and it will show the string m2 is 2000 perfect now in it 6 let c okay we'll check it here this time it's going down enter okay system came up is set okay that will take some time in the meantime, I will show you here. Okay, ITR. If config in a 0 as 3. M2 is back. Okay, set and establish. You see, M2 is back to 1500, but we have set it for 2000. Now, for to make it permanent, what we have to do, we use less etc says config. Network hyphen script. I have saved the int in 0 as 3. Okay. And here I will set O MTU equal to 2000. Okay. I will set it as C. Okay. Now we will restart I in and it fixed. Okay. The enter key. Wait for some time. And system came up that is the session and this also got connected okay so as you enabled now ENP0 S3 M2 is 2000 so this is how you can change the M2 size and you know when you have to change the M2 size and what in office corporate we are using 9000 also but depending on the ethernet device how much it can accept and the traffic towards your server Help depend, uh, help determining the MTU value. Set the correct MTU value. Maximum transfer unit. This is an interview question. Might get asked. See you in next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye bye.